Well, really proud of our guys back to back, you know, conference road wins. Um, it's not easy to win ever. It's not easy to win on the road. This is always a tough place to play. You know, up here two years ago and we were in, you know, double overtime. And uh, you know, we had a we didn't have our normal fast start, we kinda had a slow start. And really just missed some opportunities early. We missed a big play on a throw, just high. And then we fumbled a snap in the next drive, but then we just set it in. And then we had four straight touchdowns and really uh, <clears throat> You know, offensively played with a lot of rhythm from from that point on. Uh, and then defensively, uh, got a couple scores in the first half. Just too many penalties. You know, let the quarterback run one time and get outside of us one time. Uh, but man, it's, I think they had 195 and a half to finish with 233. So <clears throat> really proud of our defense and how they how they shut them out in the second half. The two turnovers were huge because they created. Uh, you know, scoring opportunities for us and we capitalize. So I'm just proud of uh, how the guys competed and uh, you know handled their business today. So great opportunity for them. Offensively, again, a lot of balance. Uh, season high, 85 plays. And this is how they make you play. This is where we weren't very good last year. And you know, they they will make you move the chains. You know, they just force you to have to. You know, be satisfied and get the first down. And I think we had a the third most first downs in Clemson history. You know, 37 first downs. So I mean, that's a that's that's a lot of execution. That's a, and didn't turn the ball over. So I'm really proud of of, of that. And then it's a, again, first time we've been down in a while. First time we've kind of been in that you know moment where you're like, ah, you got the momentum against you. And I loved how our guys responded. They showed a lot of maturity today. They showed a lot of mental toughness today and didn't flinch. And that, that's really good to see. And there was a couple of times in the first half, especially offensively, to see us respond and put drives together and really take the momentum back. Because uh, we lost it a couple of times in that first half. So I'm just really proud of that. Again, I think we took another step forward there. But offensively, man, just a lot of good stuff. Uh, Cade was awesome. You know, three touchdowns, 309 passing, 30 rushing. Uh, we, we were really, really good on third down. Last week, we couldn't score in the red zone. We had to kick a bunch of field goals, which also was good to see. Um, and this week, we were 5-5 five five in the red zone. And that's kind of how we were able to stretch the game away because we finished in the red zone uh, instead of having to settle for the field goals like last week. So really proud of that. Moffa, a couple of touchdowns, another 100 plus yard game. Granny, I think he's the all-time uh, career leader in 100 yard games for a tight end now. Had a big game, some big, big tough plays. Uh, Italian Stallion showed up, made some really, really tough contested plays. Gritty, you know, nice little tough little dirt ball for a touchdown uh, that he that he that he scooped up. Um, but just a lot of good things, man. Zero, another really good game. Had a little fun in the locker room. That's, he's the first guy since Spiller to catch a touchdown and throw for one in uh, the same game. Uh, so a heck of a pass. It was a really uh, a good execution right there. I thought TJ and Adam, uh, good to see Adam getting in the zone again. TJ do some good things. Uh, special teams that we were really concerned about their punter, their punt returner. And we did a nice job there, uh, tackling him and getting him on the ground. <clears throat> and then again, defensively, uh, shut him out in the second half, three of 11 and third down. So a lot of good things, the two takeaways, three sacks. Uh, it was a good, complete game. And that's something that we needed. You know, we played a nice, complete game. And, and the best part, when we subbed, and we put a lot of guys in, as y'all have followed us this year, we, we've, we've given up a million yards. It's become a trap meet. And to see those guys go out there and, and continue to you know, show that they've improved, uh, that was good to see. Uh, so got a chance to see a few young guys make some plays. Team had to step up for us today. Uh, our intention was, you know, Tyler Brown was ready to play uh, if we needed him to win the game. Uh, but you know, we're gonna probably shut him down tomorrow and uh, he'll probably be, instead of day-to-day -day chapel, he's probably going to be week-to-week. -week. All right, uh, we've got an open date coming up, so we're going to probably, you know, uh, he's just been kind of, he's kind of plateaued, and we just, we just need to try to, try to uh, see if we can get him over the hump uh, with one game left and, a, and an open date. So good to see Ting step up and make some plays today, and obviously Stilato, uh as well. Uh, Wesco, y'all know this, Probably early, he wasn't here. He rolled his ankle, so he wasn't able to go either. Uh, he is day to day, um, so you know, hopefully we'll get him back uh, uh, next week. 
but a lot of a lot of good things in the game. I think we came through it pretty healthy. Um, we're just just really proud of our staff too because you know back to back road trips, uh, an early game, you know a, a tough gritty team at Wake Forest. I thought our staff did a great job of preparing. Got a lot of respect from Wake Forest and Coach Carlson and man, how they compete. They came back last 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 week uh, in the fourth quarter, so you know, it was good to see us be able to put them away in that second half like we needed to. That uh, fourth and goal, um, you and Coach uh, Riley must have been salivating for the opportunity to line Peter up in that formation, I guess. Well, somebody uh, who asked me for intellectual property was the chapel. So chapel's always one step ahead. Uh, so there you go. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> who right. can roll out there? Did you get the personnel? Peter at fullback yeah. and DeMonte at tight end. Yeah. 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 There you go. Peyton Page, I believe, was uh, okay. uh, in, 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 that, in that mix as well. He's, he's one of our – so we got a – we got us a big, a big, big package. So, you know, and listen, you know, those are tough calls as a head coach when it's, when it's a, you know, you got a chance to make it a, a, a three-score game. Hey, well, we were up two touchdowns right there. You know, you got a chance to make it a three-score game right there. And those are kind of tough calls. It's not fourth and one. It was like fourth and two. And you know, that, they they bailed me out right there and did a heck of a job of executing. But I, I was happy to see them get in there and and uh, have a chance to. To put it on tape, so hopefully that's something we can uh, grow from. Let's go for previous game. In the game, in the game last week, uh, he rolled it really on the. I think it was on the. I think it was on that two-minute drive where he tried to run to the sideline uh, instead of just getting up the field. I think it was on that play. We played the whole game. Uh, he finished, but he just he was he was pretty sore the next day. But. Like you said, it was a slow start offensively. How big were those two interceptions? Uh, quarterback had just two interceptions coming into the game. Massive team game. Complimentary football. That's a team game. That's one thing we talked about. We needed to we needed to fuel each other in this game. You know, we needed to throw fuel on that fire. The offense is fire and defense throw fuel on the, on the uh, offense is fire and the offense throw fuel on the defense is fire. Special teams, hey, you got to bring it in both, both groups. But it was big. It was big. I mean, it was – Great job. Good to see Colin. You know, uh, good to see him get back in there. And he's a guy that, that actually started for us at the beginning of the year, but really wasn't playing well. You know, just not playing like we know he can play. But it's good to see him get in there and respond and be ready. Uh, so hopefully that'll be great for his confidence. <clears throat> and uh, and then you know we did some good things, but you know, we had some bad stuff too. I mean, we had some misplays early that we need to make. A couple of missed touchdown opportunities that we were just off on that we need to be a little more precise with. We had too many penalties. We had some bad PIs. Um, and uh, so there's still still a lot of room for improvement. But I would say in totality, this was probably our best game as far as four quarters, you know, really putting together as a team. Can you talk about Antonio? I know you mentioned him a little bit earlier, but yeah. just kind of what he's been doing because he's kind of been on a roll, I would say. Yeah, another touchdown. I mean, he's just playing with um, – Incredible confidence uh, and, and, and just great technique. It's such a good understanding of how to play the position, but how to play the position versus the type of defense coverage you know that he's seeing. You know, play by play. He's just he's just really a, a smart, and experienced player. He plays fast. He's incredibly confident with his hands. He plays bigger and longer than he is because he's a, he's an extension guy. You know, you don't see him body many balls. I mean, he's a, he's a guy that's always, always playing with, with a great range in his game. Uh, so they got great chemistry. They worked really, really hard on that. And uh, something we didn't have last year, you know, honestly. You know, we, our, our guys we started last year were done by game three. You throw, you don't have a lot of chemistry with guys. And uh, so those guys have a lot of chemistry. And then Cade, man, Cade just, he just continues to, you know, play quarterback at a high level. And, and he's not perfect. I mean, I say he, he, that first play to Salado is probably going to go a while. And he just airballed it um, and you know, missed a player here or there. But, and he's just making great decisions. Uh, again, last year, just so many negative plays that could be avoided. Some can. And, and, and he's just not doing that. And I'm really proud of him. He's impacted the game with his legs. Had another 30 yards rushing uh, today. And uh, 31 to 41, I mean, he's just, he, he's, he's very confident. The guys, he's, he's making everybody else around him better. 
and they're all just you know doing it you know as, as one unit. And it's good to see. And then offensive line wise, man, we're just we're just uh, playing really, really well. I mean, you know, they had a nice little little inside stunt game that kind of got us on some of our zone stuff and coming around back door, tackling us. We made a couple adjustments there. But, uh, overall, again. Uh, slow star for us, which we haven't had. Uh, but really, man, once they got it going, it was, it was fun to watch. That double pass worked that well in practice. Does it look, did it look that good uh, off, out of Antonio's hand? Uh, yeah, actually it did. You know, we only ran it a couple of times. Uh, we put it in late in the week. Uh, but, uh, you know, we just ran it on the scouts. So we, we, that, was, that was our first, like, live rep. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was good to see uh, the execution. Really, really good. Is Ben lobbying for another passing opportunity? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We just need him to keep toting it. He's, man, he's low. Golly. He's low. Good to see. You know, Hammerhead got in there. I thought he he showed, you know, y'all got to see a lot of what we see in practice. I mean, he's a, I mean, he's a business decision guy. I mean, he, he's, he's, a, he is, he's a hard dude to tackle. Uh, and, and then Jarvis got in there and did some good stuff. So good to see all those guys have a chance to play a little bit. Some of the big chunk plays defensively in the first half, the 31-yard touchdown, the 38-yard catch and run on the other side. Uh, what what you see go wrong on, on those two specifically? Uh, just which one? The 31-yard touchdown pass, their first touchdown, and then the long catch and run to set up the second yeah, touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, we just we just didn't do our job. We didn't have our eyes on the mm -hmm. right thing. I mean, they got around us on the run, yeah. and we should have tackled. You know, we got to get him down right there. But we'll watch the tape and see exactly you know what the technique was and what we got to clean up there. Coach, talk about the middle late uh, 